stability or for metals. Okay, I'm going to try and go through the other ones fast. To resist degradation. Degradation is when a material loses its properties, which usually we want, with time. Okay? So what are some forms of degradation for these? Well, wood is vulnerable to water because when it gets wet and it stays wet long enough, it will actually have fungus and, and mold and things that degrade it. They, they, they rot the wood and it loses its strength. Uh, metals and alloys. A lot of metals can rust. The proper word is corrosion. They corrode. Okay, again, water would make that happen. Water and oxygen. Uh, ceramics. Ceramics are actually really good at uh, resisting degradation. However, some chemicals, acids and bases can affect it and such. Uh, plastics. The, uh, uh, the kryptonite or the bad thing for plastics is actually sunlight. UV light really breaks down the chemical structure of the plastics. So if you've ever seen a Coke bottle, a plastic Coke bottle or something that was left out in the sun for a summer and you go and see it, unfortunately it's been left there and you see it at the end of the summer, you might notice that the color of the plastic changed. It lost its elasticity so it cracks really easily. Uh, sunlight degrades plastics a lot and, uh, and composites, it's different for every one of them. Okay, so how, what are the properties for resisting de degradation? Well, chemical neutrality. Chemicals don't affect it. So for example, generally speaking, um, ceramics are pretty good at resisting chemical attack. Plastics can be pretty good depending on the type of chemical. Uh, even metals for some things, mm, not well, so a bit. Uh, resistance to corrosion. Well, for example, plastic does not corrode. It is extremely resistant to corrosion. Metals, there are certain metals that resist it better or worse. Heat resistance. Which type of material would you use to make the inside of your kitchen oven? Well, I'm guessing you probably wouldn't use plastic because it is not heat resistant. Okay? Ceramics are very, very heat resistant. Okay? In fact, the ovens they use to melt metals and make alloys are made in ceramics. And some other properties you, you know about electrical conductivity. Does it let electricity through? Well, you know metals do. Um, also, you can talk about an electrical insulator. That would be the opposite, right? It doesn't let electricity through. Thermal conductivity, does it let heat through easily? Wood is actually a very good heat insulator. Um, they used to use it in houses. I, have, I live in an old house and behind the brick is a thick layer of wood all over the house and that's basically the insulation of the house. Um, and lightness. Is it, is it dense and heavy or is it low density and light? So that's basically the overview of the materials you have to know about and you have to memorize these words. There's no real shortcut. It's not that hard but you just have to practice describing different things that you see using those words. So, for example, this marker. Well, is it hard? Well, it's fairly hard, but I can scratch it too. So it, it's not that hard, right? I, it, it's pr actually pretty soft. Elasticity. Can I bend this marker? Well, the plastic, if I squeeze it, it does kind of take its shape back. So it's moderately elastic. Does it shatter? No, this is pretty resilient, right? Throw it. Threw it hard on the ground, didn't shatter. Um, it's, so it's not fragile. Is it fairly stiff? Well, it, it's medium stiffness, right? So just get used to using those words and it's not that bad. Okay, so that's basically it. It is mostly common sense. Just look around you now and you will see that everything that is m human made around you somebody put a lot of thought into choosing what is the best material for that thing. Okay, so this marker was made out of this plastic because it's cheap, because um, they can shape it easily. Hopefully, I mean this one probably isn't recyclable because there's stuff in the middle, but hopefully in the future they'll make them so they can be recycled. It can take colors, so it can be pretty. Uh, you know, why did they make the table out of wood? Well, they could shape it. It was cheap. Uh, so on, they like the, sh the color of the wood. It is hard. It is stiff. It's not going to... So, 
just think about it. It's common sense. Just try and use it and practice it, and it, uh, it all makes sense. So just as a review, you have these materials you have to know about. For to this year's exam, you only have to know the first ones, not composites. You have these mechanical properties. You have these properties to resist degradation. And you have these other properties, OK? How do things degrade? Well, wood and metals degrade with water. Wood rots. Metals corrode. Ceramics degrade with acids or bases. Um, they're also fragile. But that's not degradation, so it's mostly chemicals. Uh, plastics degrade with sunlight. Um, some interesting properties that maybe aren't so, you're not so familiar with. Ceramics are amazing electrical insulators. Electricity does not go through ceramics well. They resist degradation a lot. Uh, they withstand heat. They are extremely heat resistant. Um, the rest, oh, and you have to know the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics can be recycled, but they are less heat resistant. They will melt at a lower temperature. Thermosetting plastics cannot be recycled, but they're usually stronger and, um, and resist heat better. So that's the overall thing. There you go. Just practice it. Okay. See you later.